All right, it is time to check in with Keith Bilbrey to see what kinds of questions that you have been leaving for me in the comments and in our My Two Cents at TBN.TV mailbox. Keith, I have a feeling we got a few pieces of mail, so let's go ahead and see what we got. Oh, we do. Scott Hand, he says, Governor Huckabee, I have a what if question for you. Suppose that Biden and Harris are actually inaugurated, and then after the inauguration, it's proven in courts of law that voting fraud was committed, and therefore the election results were the fraud was proven and get thrown out, invalidating Biden's presidency. What happens then? Thanks for listening. Well, we're going to be in a heap of a mess, uh, is what, what's <laughs> going to happen, I'll tell you. Um, honestly, it would be up to uh, Congress to decide if there was proof, I mean, absolute proof. Congress could always impeach, and the Senate could, in fact, convict, and uh, the election would be overturned by virtue of that. That's one way. Or um, it's possible that a president could say, look, if I am not a legitimate president, and now we know that I'm not, then I shall resign. And the vice president would do the same thing. What do you think, Keith, the chances of that happening would be? <laughs> yeah, that's probably more than I would have given it, that's for sure. So it, it probably is not going to happen, and it would be uh, quite, quite the mess for sure. I'm not sure much bigger the mess than what we already have. Okay, what else we got? All right, Sam Stefanik says, what can ordinary citizens do to combat, uh, to combat the radical left? I voted, but that doesn't seem to mean much anymore. How can we affect change when even our votes, the only voice regular people seem to have, is taken from us? We're silenced or demonized on every front. I'm a white man, a gun owner, and I make a good living in the heavy construction industry. When did I become the enemy? Thank you for your continued efforts and for being the soothing voice of reason in the middle of very unreasonable times. Well, let me say to you, you are not the enemy. You are what makes America tick. I mean, guys that work out there in heavy construction who build our roads and build our buildings and our homes and all the businesses that give us jobs, you, you could never be the enemy of this country. You're the foundation of this country. It's people like you who work with your hands and lift heavy things and stand on concrete floors all day for a living and come home sweating. You're the people that are nothing like an enemy to the country. I truly believe you're the heroes. And, and it breaks my heart that folks like you are demonized by people on the left as somehow not being important to the future of the nation. So I say, hang in there. And you ask, what can we do? Well, we don't quit voting and we don't quit getting involved, but we hold people accountable. When I'm watching all these governors and mayors shut their whole communities and states down, I hope it's a wake-up call that people will say, we don't have to live like this, and that they throw the bums out the next time there's an election. That's one thing that we certainly can do. Well, apparently Steve Lindbergh works for the IRS. He asked, what are you doing on a Christian TV station when you're totally politically biased? Are you paying taxes? I will see to it that you do. Ooh, he will see to it that I do. You don't have to. The IRS is already doing that, my friend. In fact, you ask, am I even paying taxes? Tell you what I'll do. I don't know you. I don't know what you do. But I'll make you a little deal. I will pay your income taxes if you will pay mine. How would that work? Give me a call. I promise. I'll swap tax burdens with you. And I'll bet you'll never say again, do you even pay taxes? Yeah, believe me, more than I ever wanted to. But here's what I tell people. I pay all the taxes I owe because I'm smart enough never to evade taxes. But I'm not so stupid that I'm not going to, that I'm going to pay more taxes than I have to. And people who say, well, I'd like my taxes to be raised. When I was governor, you know what I did? I created a fund. It was called the Tax Me More Fund. And I printed up envelopes, and everywhere I went to make a speech, I would say, we got some legislators that think we ought to raise your taxes. Folks, we don't even have to. I'll give you an envelope, whatever you feel would make you better, 
and help you have a better conscience, fill up the envelope and send it into the Tax Me More Fund. And I gave out envelopes to people that thought they needed to be paid or pay more in taxes. You know how much, Keith, we got after about a year and a half? $1,100. And you know, a thousand of that was given by a liberal senator who started the noise about people want to pay taxes. Hmm. Year and a half later, only a hundred bucks worth of people in the entire state of Arkansas wanted to pay more. He was the only idiot that wanted to pay and pay the thousand bucks. And we took his money too. And I'd have taken more. <laughs> Hope so. The Tax Me More Fund. Yes, indeed. All right. Well, Max Smelser says, why haven't we seen any affidavits coming from the Democrat side in regards to voter fraud like we have from the Republican side? What are they afraid of? A little prison time? Thanks for being our voice out there. Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, I'm not even sure that I need to answer that other than to say, amen, brother. Uh, why haven't we seen some affidavits indicating what happened? There may be a reason because people don't want to always say what might get them in a little bit of trouble. Hey, we want you to leave your questions, your comments, or even your vitriol in the comments below, or you can send them to my two cents at tbn.tv. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, then subscribe, and hit the notification bell below. Now, if you didn't like it, you ought to find a Ben Shapiro video to detox you with more facts.